deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Go ahead and start off the show with PXT. Now, uh, Adonis and Avco, these two have been clashing with each other just to see who deserves to be in their rightful spot in the rightful race. Adonis now wants to challenge Avco for his division. But then, uh, by the time I was talking to both these men, uh, just so happened that Onyx and the Immortal Electro came in and they were actually pretty interested in maybe teaming up tonight that's right ladies and gentlemen our first match of the night is a tag team match it is the reuniting of the misfits ab cole and electro with the newest squad that honestly i still didn't see coming adonis and onyx now knowing this ab cole is probably a little bit upset Mainly also because Onyx did give Apple his first loss here in PXC, and Onyx is still unpinned in PXC action. So the question is, could this be, could this be the first time, the first time Onyx will be defeated here in PXC? Well, correction, the pin in PXC. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's PXT. Introducing first. The Misfit himself. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Abco. Honestly, Abco has pretty much made a full-on like impact here in PXT. Not only did he make it to the semi-finals of the PXT Championship, but he has practically been almost undefeated. But even with that said, it wasn't because of him battling each and every person day in, day out. But mainly because, well, let's be for real here, he's only gone against Adonis and he's shown that he can handle Adonis and put Adonis down. But the thing that nobody really knows is that can he actually compete with the rest of the stars here in PXT? That's something we don't know. I mean, last week, look at what happened. He went against Onyx. What happened? Onyx prevailed and took him down. No, that is if I remember in last week's match correctly. But I'm correct. I believe Onyx right now in our record books only has one defeat, and that's mainly because of the bio war quarantine match that's the only reason he has a defeat but he is still unpinned in pxc want to point that out here now there's one other thing i do got to point out here is that we have a returning like legendary team here as well that's right the misfits we have the misfits electro and apple reuniting for possibly the only night we don't know but these two went on to become tag team champions both in WWE and other promotions. These two went so far to practically become the best tag team in the world besides the Brotherhood. Honestly, that's a dream match I would love to see one of these days. The Brotherhood against the Misfits. That's a match I want to see. And who knows, maybe we'll get to see that one day, someday. But right now, Electro making his way to the ring. The Electric Eagle of PXT. Yes, I know. The Immortal Eagle of PXT. The Immortal Bird. I don't know. We got to come up with a different name for us. Shit. Well, there is one thing I got to say is that that still fucking hurts my ears. Ow, son of a bitch. Point is though, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to about to see the biggest match probably in history because these two used to, were the best tag team in the world. But now, even with that said, that was years ago. That was way before, way before Electro became the Triple Crown Champion. Or became known solely as the Triple Crown Champion. So that is the question. Will Electro be able to do that? Well, correction, will he be able to still have synergy with his brother? There he is, the man that has yet to actually pick up the... Has Adonis picked up a victory? I actually don't even remember. 
Yes, Adonis has picked up a victory, actually. Adonis hasn't had a lot of victories here in PXC, but he is here to show everybody that he's here for a reason, and he deserves to be here at PXC. Well, sadly, you not miss anything. We just barely started. This is the first match of the night. We are watching the a big tag team match, just to let everybody know. It is the returning team of the Misfits going against the team of Adonis and Onyx. Pretty much, Onyx uh, was able to pick up a win last week against Avco, and Avco was a little irate and wanted another match against him. But Adonis wasn't done with Avco either, and same thing with Electro was not done with Adonis. So in this case, we just said fuck it and decided to make full-on tag team match. Does that contradict what I said before? Yes, but that sounds way better, so we're going with it. <laughs> Adonis has been struggling. Very struggling. Tag team, we got a tag team division now. Let's go. Sadly, no. <laughs> no tag team division just yet. Uh, we're still waiting to see if we can get a little bit more people. Right now, I believe, with the two newest Addies of PXC, which will be performing in the middle of the show tonight, uh, to be placed in PXC, um, they, they make us to 23 right now. So few more competitors we can have the tag team division and we'll see what happens with that because personally i think a tag team division will be super welcome here at pxc but with that said with that said though with that said uh we will probably have to cut the matches of pxt only because the tag team matches sometimes take close to 20 minutes uh so with that said with that said Right now, Onyx makes his way to the ring. Onyx being one of the few men that have not been pinned in PXT. Can't wait to see some of the combinations. Honestly, saying I can't wait. Personally, a dream match of mine would actually be the Brotherhood against the Misfits. In other words, Electro and Akko going against Devil and Justin. That would be a dream match for me because uh, the Misfits came in right when the Brotherhood pretty much retired. But now here we are tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tag team mats, the reunited misfits going against the team of Onyx and Adonis. Let's see who picks it up. Hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy the match. Adonis coming in. Oh, big, big kick to the face of Alco. Oh, look at the Electro. Coming did aid of his brother real quick. Oh, didn't, didn't do crap. Oh, wait. This is a bad spot for Adonis. In all honesty, this is a bad spot for Adonis. Ooh. Beautiful northern lights right there. Hello, Preston. Hello, hello. Okay, looks like Alco quickly tags in the immortal Electro. Adonis stopping Electro from doing some springboard action, possibly. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, Adonis looking to already step up to full gear. Oh, oh! Beautiful move right there. Favorite AEW. Uh, oh, God. Right now, it'd have to be MJF. Big shots there. Oh, big punch from Adonis to Electro. Electro. Uh, me, uh, the, 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 I don't know what happened there. Oh, there it is. Oh, Electro's just having a tough time right now. Having a very tough time. Box for me? Hell yeah. <laughs> God, Mox is amazing. I, I had to take a second guess there because I was like, wait a minute. Are you talking about like Mox here or are you talking about John Mox? <laughs> yeah, Moxley's awesome. Honestly, he was the reason I wanted to keep watching AEW, but yeah, I've been having trouble sticking with it because I don't have cable. I only have like the streaming stuff. Ooh, Adonis trying to go for a big forearm, but missed. Maybe WWE. Uh, Undertaker, hands down. Bray Wyatt's close second, though. Adonis was trying to get Abko into their corner, but Abko quickly coming back at it, and now coming in with a vicious series of strikes. Ooh! Dropping him down. Knee first right there. Randy for real. For fair point. Yeah, Randy. Actually, Randy would be a close... Third for me, honestly. Right now, Abcool just took full on control of this man. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! Abcool showing a little bit of disrespect to the rook here. 
Oh, Alka was trying to take advantage there, but Adonis quickly reversing, quickly coming back at it as well. This is where I gotta pull out the title again, because I, I feel like I said this last week. Oh wait, the camera's not on. I'll show it after this match. Because that, that's, that, I have, I have the title for that, so I, I'll show it after this match. Alright, here we go, look at this. Right now, Adonis doing exceptionally well, keeping full-on control of this match. So far. Oh! Wait, I say Adonis, I think I mean Abko at this point, because every time Abko's in, in the ring with Adonis, Adonis just struggles. Oh! Adonis was able to get the tag on Onyx. Now Onyx has a chance to probably put... Uh, well, what did have a chance to deal some punishment to Abko. Oh, but Abko... Looking to gain a little bit of vengeance, but I think Abcor realizes Electro maybe can handle the Rook of PXT. Electro being thrown to the ropes. Onyx goes under. Oh, Onyx goes over. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful twisting neck breaker right there. Onyx tags in Adonis. Oh. Electro has some stuff to work out here against the former WWE Champion. Gotta get in the big Triple Crown Champ, yeah! Triple Crown Champion right now. Oh, was going in for a small punch. Oh, Adonis going in for a one-legged dropkick, I believe. Oh, but <laughs> Electro shows him how it's really done with a springboard dropkick and hits the Electric Talon! Is that enough? Oh, I, I think Onyx panicked there for a second. I, I, I think Onyx was panicking. I don't know what happened there. He took a second. He allowed a one count. Oh, Electro getting. Oh, I think Electro was setting up for possibly the triple crown. He didn't get it. Oh, look at this. Oh, again. Beautiful super kick. Oh, God. And there you go. Onyx being tagged right now. And Electro hitting it with a big clothesline. Every AEW match. Oh god. <laughs> uh, that's actually a good one. For me, that's actually a good one because I haven't seen a lot of AEW matches. Holy shit, big stuff there. For me, it's hard to say favorite AEW match because uh, I do understand that a lot of their matches are very formulaic now with the whole like. Everything looking like a finisher and nothing finishes it. So it is hard for me to say what's a... Oh, 4 fifth though! It's going for the 4 fifth splash. Quickly missed. Onyx. Oh, Onyx hits! Flatline! He hit the flatline on Abkul! Isn't it off? One! Oh! Electro even knew. Electro even knew to get out of that. Electro just has to wear both men down to get a chance to win. That is true, honestly. Electro with the electric talent. He could just steal it out of nowhere. Favorite WWE match. Oh god. Uh you know what? It would have to be I think before I said Mick Foley and Undertaker. Really? Uh Undertaker and Triple H, Hell in a Cell, WrestleMania, with uh, Shawn Michaels being the special guest. Beautiful match. Look at this, Adonis. <laughs> I think Adonis realizes that Onyx may be the equalizer against Abkul. That's why he went in and tagged in the Rook. And look at this! The Rook going in for the suicide of Pile Driver! Right there! One! Two! Oh, Electro coming in quick for that. Favorite song? Uh, well, now it's Shatter from uh, uh, pretty much Bray Wyatt's favorite song. Or not his favorite song, his last entrance song. It's called Shatter. Favorite. Demon Fire ACDC. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, and Onyx. Oh, Onyx coming in with a deadly drop kick of his own. Oh, big forearm to the face of the Triple Crown Champion. We're seeing the a Rook going against the Triple Crown Champion and hits him with the flatline. Is it enough? No, the Triple Crown Champion. Quickly kicks out. Favorite movie. Oh, that was I was asked this a while ago. It is hard for me to say favorite movie. You gotta categorize it for me. <laughs> oh, Onyx going for the pin. One. Oh, you gotta be like horror movie, uh, comedy, stuff like that. Because it's hard for me to pick one with movies. It really is. 
Look at this, Adonis! Adonis! Coming in with an Adonis drop to the Triple Crown Champion! Here it is for the win! One! Two! Oh! Again? I want to point out, Abkul was late on that. Oh, look at this! Oh! He, he took care of Abkul! He took care of Abkul with the Adonis drop! Right now, Electrobe is all by himself! <laughs> Holy shit, baby vehicle. Mustang, I, I guess. This is getting beaten. He honestly is. He got hit with the flat line. He got hit with an Adonis drop, and somehow he's still going. Oh, good leg sweep right there from Electro to Onyx. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Beautiful move there. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? Oh, oh! <laughs> Spring! Was that a Springboard Crossbody or Springboard Clothesline? Holy shit, it's hard to tell. Onyx just working on the Triple Crown Champion. I think he realizes this could be really good for his career. Oh! Favorite video game. Oh, Destiny 2 at this point. Oh, Onyx going in. Foot on the flat line! That has to be it. Has to be! One! Oh, but again... Abko saving his brother. Adonis was ready to, ready to go toe to toe with Electro. Oh, just cooking right now. He honestly is. It's crazy. Oh, look at this. Going for the Code Breaker. I just call it Code Breaker at this point. No, wait. Walls of Jericho. That's the name of it. Holy fuck. I confused Moose. Oh, big forearm from Abko to Onyx. Uh, on Onyx wasn't even phased. He was just like. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> Onyx is like, all right. He just, he's just, just going to focus on Electro, but quickly winning for the tag. I think even Onyx realizes that Adonis is a good equalizer to Electro because Adonis was able to pick up a win against Electro. So this is very interesting. Oh, here it is for the pin. A pin? One. Was it a one? I don't even know. And Electro rolling out Adonis. Adonis probably ready to go. High fly! No! Oh! They're a drain vehicle. I don't know what that means. Oh! Big elbow to the face right there. Oh, what's Electro going for here? Oh! Was he going for his brother's move? Oh! Sh big shot, right? Or a big reversal right there from Adonis to Electro. Electro being thrown back in. Adonis going for. He meant dream. Oh, dream vehicle. Got you. Mustang, yeah. Oh, he missed the key ends on. The triple crown champion had him scouted right there. Oh, oh. Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. One. Two. Here's ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the triple crown. Is that enough to put him down? One, two, no. Onyx barely, barely gets it. The triple moon salt calls it the triple crown. It's amazing. I mean, technically, that's what it is. <laughs> what visions do you want? What vision do I want? What do you mean? Oh, version, version. Uh. I think it's the classic Mustang, honestly. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh, hey, 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 hey! Ref! What the fuck? His foot! His foot! Ref! What the fuck? <laughs> Might not like Electro, but he's a damn good wrestler. Hey, there's a reason he was a Triple Crown Champion. Oh, big punch right there. Oh, look! Oh! Oh! Beautiful reversal from Onyx! He dodged the Triple... He does the electric talent! He dodged it! Holy shit! Onyx for being a rook is showing the triple crown champion how's it done with a suicide a pile driver! Here it is! One! Two! No! Oh, let's think Onyx looking to do some do some damage on Abco here. Oh! Top rope! Oh, look, oh, I think Onyx just is ready to shut Abkul up. Oh, where the flat line? There it is. Now it's all Electro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. The Rook is going hard. 
Both brothers up. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What is going on? This is crazy. Electro getting him up. Oh, trying to get Electro up. Electro reversing it with a Northern Light suplex. Oh, now we're attacking Adonis. Raven WWE Champion. I, sadly, it's generic as hell, but I have to say it. John Cena. It's who I grew up with. It's who I grew up with. Ooh, good move right there from Apple to Onyx. And look at this! Oh, over the top! Form to Adonis! Is Adonis the legal man? I actually don't even remember. Oh, big punch there. Oh, big suplex! Onyx is definitely showing Electro rookies are nothing to play with. Hell yes, he is! It's crazy, honestly. I'm fucking amazed. All right, now we have. Right now we're at a count of four. The last tag team match that we did have in PXC, because we did have one a while back, was a. Uh, believe it or not, Bugrip and Rodrigo against the Brotherhood, and they won via countout. Oh, big clothesline right there! Oh, but quickly Adonis goes up. Abko not giving him a second and barely grazed Adonis. I'm not gonna lie, it somewhat looked like a botch, but it, it, it worked. Because <laughs> he was just like, oh, oh, he hit me. Uh. <laughs> oh, big shot there, Adonis now coming back at it. Oh, raking the back of Apple. These two have a huge rivalry. Big history, big DDT right there. Oh, Apple going in. Look at this. Abko. Now, no. Even if they lose, even if they lose here, Onyx will still have the record of not being pinned to PXC. Want to point that out. Onyx does have losses on his record, but they... Oh, here it is. Mach 2! Here it is. 1! No, Electro was fast enough to break up the count. Oh, what's Adonis going for? Here it is, that high knee shot to the face of Apco. I, I don't know, okay, I don't know what happened there. Adonis looking for Apco to ready himself in. Oh, big shot from the top. Is that enough to put him down? One, two. Adonis just got a victory over Apco. Holy shit! Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, Adonis and Onyx, pick up the victory here. What? This is... I did not... I, I guess that was technically a top rope Kienzon. Holy shit. And with that, Adonco gets his second loss here in PXT as well. Holy shit. Holy crap. Well, you know there's going to be some bad blood because Electro just stood there and watched it. Electro just stood there and watched it. All right, either way, congratulations to both Onyx and Adonis. Hell, honestly, mostly Adonis. Adonis finally picking up a pinfall against Abko. So that that's a big, that is big for him. He needed that. Congratulations to them too. We're going on to our next match. So two weeks ago, uh, we had to pretty much, well, not two weeks ago, correction. Two episodes ago, correct us here. Uh, we had a triple threat match to determine who was going to be the replacement for the triple threat match at Hellfire, and uh, pretty much one of the competitors uh, actually, not even going to lie, to this he did technically steal the win, Bone Two Wheeler. But last week he did go against Shane, where Shane actually put him down, like surprisingly. But now apparently Bone. <laughs> Oh, apparently has even more people that's pissed off at him because the man himself that technically should be in the match, not gonna lie, Jake Lawler, the self-proclaimed god of PXT, uh, wants a match against Bone Tubler to uh, not only shut him up but also to get a little bit of payback. So tonight it is gonna be Jake Lawler against Bone Tubular, the self-proclaimed god of wrestling going against the high-flying speedster. Who's gonna win? We'll find out in a little bit. Like, I get what they were going for with the look, but it just didn't work. Alright, here he is. The self-proclaimed god of wrestling himself, Jake Lawler. 
Bake has a Bake has not been having a good run in PXC so far. Um, not only did he get cheated out of an actual like title opportunity against his opponent today, actually, um, but he also just has not been winning a lot of his matches. He went against G7, and G7 became a god slayer at that point. Which, even sadly, last week, uh, G7 did actually get a loss against Super. They had a rematch, and Super uh, actually proved that he is worth fighting CG. Which, that might be happening tonight. Uh, again, to refresh what happened last week, last week, pretty much, C. Jill didn't explain what happened and why he didn't uh, face Super. It's that he felt like Super is not worthy of his time. He feels like Super is not even worthy of fighting for the championship. Because not only did he not win one-on-one -on -one for it, but he technically stole the victory. Which, in that case, little understandable, but at the same time, come on. This wrestling, we all know how this goes. But back to this action though, Bone Tubular making his way in. Honestly, he's probably prepared for next week. That's right, just letting everybody know our next big show, PXT Hellfire. It's gonna be starting next Sunday. If you guys are interested in that, come on down. We're gonna have like shots. I'm joking, not really, but either way. That'll be our PXT Hellfire show where Bone Tubular will be in the main event against Rodrigo and Bugrip for the PXC Championship. Bone was able to steal one triple threat match. Can he steal a championship in that matter? But either way, tonight it is Dick Lawler, Bone Tubular. Let's see what happens. Jake needs some vengeance to steal as well. I believe that as well. Jake, Jake needs to get himself some payback. Oh, big elbow from Bone to Jake. Jake, oh, there it is. Oh, Jake's coming in with gut shots. Oh, oh, beautiful. Beautiful shot right there from Bone. Bone, again, now. I think Jake probably learned from last week, not gonna lie, because if you notice, Bone was about to get, like, super fast, super quick there, but Jake was able to stop it pretty quick. I think he learned stuff from Shane. I think that's what we're seeing here. Oh, big suplex. One. Only gets a one count. Oh, big knee shot. Big shot to the arm. Looking to probably damage the arm as well. Oh, damn the guts. Oh, now just focusing the chest in general. And though, I, I gotta admit one thing. Jake? Jake does fight dirty. Oh, big shoulder shot. Well, hold on. I can't say fight dirty. Because technically, me saying that is saying he fights like Ric Flair. Ric Flair fought fucking dirty. <laughs> he fights in a very real manner, if you will. Oh! This thing... Brain Buster? Yeah, I'm gonna say Suplex. Trying to throw him on the steps, but Bone, I guess Bone caught himself. Now got him on the barricade. Jake's looking to dish out some punishment here. But Bone reversing it. Oh, Jake's just, Jake's just back up. Okay, cool. Oh, beautiful shot there. Shots there, big shots there. Right now, Bone taking advantage, getting him back in there. I think Jake and Shane should team up in a tag team. Honestly, that's if Shane would even... Not Shane. That's if Jake would actually even be a good partner. Because think about it. One! I don't know. Way to see Jake, Jake at least taking the whole, like, way for teaming up. I feel like he would do it for a while, but always have the eye behind your back. Because if it doesn't work out, he's probably going to, like, side swipe you. Oh, big shot there. Well, honestly, no, I, I could see that. I could possibly see Vic and Shane coming back at it. Oh, look at that. Trying to make Bone tap out here tonight. But Bone's not taking it. Bone already lost against Shane last week. He, swore, he honestly needs a victory tonight if he wants to have some momentum for the triple threat match. Oh, big kick to the face. Big shot there. Oh, big elbows. Right now. Bone trying to keep up, but again, or at least Bone's trying to get into gear. Oh, there it is, swing blade. And now, big drop kick. Bone's trying to get in the gear, but I think Jake realized that what Shane did last week was stop the momentum, stop the speed of Bone. You can take control of the match. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 oh I don't know what happened there. They both have one thing in common. They both dislike Bone. That is true. <laughs> 
look at this. Fakes just targeting the knee. Honestly, not a bad play from him either, because honestly, targeting that knee does stop him in general. Stuff there, Bone. Now taking advantage, throwing him back into the ring. What's Bone? What's Bone planning? In other words, Bone needs to try to get into gear. That's what he needs to do at this point. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at this! Jake's just playing. He's playing games. Oh, big shot to the back. Oh, look at this! Oh, he was going to hit Godly Law. Yeah, he keeps changing the name. Oh, my bone! Oh! That was Skull Crusher. Here it is. No, oh, Jake is still in it. Oh, Jake just kicks up. Jake's ready. Oh, look at this. Gets him up and again drops him down with a twisting suplex. This is up the arm. Now the question is, can Lawler put... No! no that, that's a brain buster. That's a brain buster. Ow. Jake should start wearing down the legs of Bone so he can't fly high. That's true. Honestly, I think that's what... It... Oh! Beautiful! Beautiful Suicide Tide turned into a DDT right there from Lawler. But that is true if you take away the legs of Shane. Correction, take away the legs of Bone. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about the tag team. That's good. Names are getting mixed up now. If you take away the legs of Bone, pretty much you stop the offense. You stop him getting into gear. Just like Luffy from One Piece, you can't let him get to gear five. No, I don't watch a lot of One Piece. Don't don't ask me a lot of questions. I'm sorry. Oh, big elbow! Lawler doing Lawler's doing an exceptional job keeping Bone down, but Bone's still trying to fight back as well. Oh, here it is! Here it is! Oh, look at us steal the win here again! Trying to just steal the win in general. I don't like anime to be honest. Nah, I got you. Oh, big DDT, and look at this. Shane, look, no oh, correction, <laughs> Bone, <laughs> looking to make a comeback, names really got mixed up for me there, <laughs> oh, Bone, what's Bone looking for, Bones, oh, getting in for a Heracarana, what's gonna happen here, going in for the pin, one, two, no, still nothing, right now I think Bone, Bone is going to have no choice but to try to go for Bone Spike. He's going to have to. Oh, but wait, look at this. He's going high. Oh, but quickly. Oh. Quickly gets dodged by Lawler. Now Lawler's just taking advantage. Lawler dropping Bone down to the back. I don't think Bone has the seal. I think Bone has it sealed. I sealed it? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, because Lawler's coming back at it. I think, honestly, he just has to hit Godly Law, and that's it. Oh, big kicks there. Oh! Big shot to the knee. Oh, look at this. Bone. Is Bone... I think Bone's probably looking for a ring out victory, because we're, we're at a count of six. Right now, Bone, it looks like maybe you might be right. Maybe Bone, maybe Bone does have it set. Maybe Bone does have this sealed. Oh, or not. Oh, look at this, Jake. Oh, I got four cross body. Springboard cross body to the outside. And I gotta give props to Jake. He, he's doing a great job keeping Bone down. Because that's the one thing I was commending Bone in general about. Was his speed. How quick he can move in the ring and everything. And now he is completely, completely pit stopped. Jesus! <laughs> Watch Botchamania. You know I quoted. <laughs> okay, can he hit Godly Law? That's the question. Oh, another big brain buster. I'm assuming it's a brain buster because it, it looks like it hits the head first. Big knee shot! Oh. 
Wasn't enough though. Bone was just a little dazed, but still ready to go. And here it is. Skull Crusher! Is it enough? One! Two! No! Jake is still going. I was going for strange things, but backed out of it. Nah, I got you. Okay, so what is a brain buster? Thought so. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Oh! Shit! Just quickly got him. Then the drop kick didn't do shit to his head. Oh, okay. Both men missing their big offense moves. Another brain buster. Right now, Bone scrolling on the out, looking to get to the apron, and Jake just dropping him down to the outside. Man, holy crap, these guys are actually stealing the show tonight, holy shit! Oh, look at this. I think Jake was looking to do some damage to the head, but Bone was able to get out of danger! Bone getting Jake up. Oh, but Jake reversing it up. Goes immediately for the leg. Oh, I think he was going to... Oh, he has Bones dazed right now. Jake doing a lot of damage to the legs of Bone. Looking again just to stop him in action. Stop him from moving a lot. Which, again, is not a bad idea. Oh, big shot there. I think Jake wants to end this in the ring. That's why he's not taking that type of win. Jake is having a hard time with Bone than Shane did last week. That is true. Shane did completely dominate. But then again, the question is, is Jake struggling? Or is Jake doing this on purpose to get all the payback he can get? Because think about it. He was the one that got more cheated out than anything last or a couple weeks ago. One, two, no. Because Jake did have the win set. Here it is! Godly Law! Is that enough to put Bone away? Here it is! No! Bone kicks out. Might be playing mind games. That is true. He probably could be as well. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. That was beautiful. One. Two. Two. Three, and with that, Jake Lawler picks up a win against Bone as well. Well, now that's just making me second guess some things. <laughs> so, because of what happened just right now, we're getting work. That at Hellfire, there is going to be a number one contendership match for the next big show. And it is going to be a Jake Lawler against Shane Henry to determine who will be the number one contender for the PXT Championship. Or correction, I believe any title of their division. Okay, then correction. They will be fighting to see who goes against the next YouTube Championship. Oh shit, y'all guys are <laughs> if who wins and Hellfire wins who I'm thinking is probably gonna win because he's a goddamn monster but either way uh, we are now going on to our next match of PXT where it is the newest signees of PXT that's right there's a signee match in other words two new competitors and we'll be seeing Who knocked? Ah! Oh! God oh, damn, he's a big guy. Oh, wait, why does he have security? What's going on? What? I don't know who they are. They're the lumberjack. Holy mother of God. He's humongous. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the lumberjack. He's a monster, that's why. Holy shit. The lumberjack is here in PXC. No, no, I don't have anything for him. I just don't know he's a lumberjack. Holy shit. 
He moves mountains! Holy fuck! He's moving mountains already in PXC. He hasn't even started the match. Holy shit! Bumberjack. God damn, being a national is fucking giant. Holy shit. Honestly, now I want to see him again super. Holy shit. Bumberjack making his in-ring debut here in PXT. Look at that. He's stretching. Stretching it out. He realized he got to make people go timber. He may be mad at the kid for what I said last week. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, shit. And his opponent, Jack Flo, the man that has gone here, there, to make everybody feel the flow. And now he's here to make everyone feel the flow here in PXT. Dang, everybody with that hibuki mask. Honestly, it's hard for me to work on this. <laughs> that flow coming in. Now, honestly, I, there is one thing I will say from this. I've seen flow outside of PXT, and he knows how to wear down giants. Oh, does he now? So this could actually be his match here, then. He's gonna. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna be going. He's gonna be going in the goddamn big boy here. <laughs> But we don't have a lot of news about Flo, or Jack Flo. But from what we understand, he is an extremely good technician that can work down giants. Oh! Looks like right now. Oh, look at this. Oh! Beautiful maneuver right there from Flo! Oh, the giant got the kick, though! Oh, what's trying. The lumberjack, he's so, he's so much of a giant. Oh, what the hell? Wait, his hands are already bleeding? Wait, what just happened? What? I just saw that right now. His hands are bleeding. What? Wait, what? Is the lumberjack actually soft skin? Oh my god! Look at this. Oh! <laughs> the lumberjacks just now just playing with flow at this point. Holy shit! Sorry, that whole like glitch of what happened there really threw me off. <laughs> right now, flow's just taking in the environment of PXC, looking to gain momentum. But the lumberjack not gonna let it out. Oh, throws the lumberjack immediately into the steel steps. But the lumberjack's not gonna take that either. Getting flow up. Two-handed! No! Flo reverses, gets out of danger. Oh, gets it with a shoulder tackle. Oh. I don't know, but Jack and Shane may be brothers. Maybe. Wait, Jake and Shane? Yeah, maybe. And then Lumberjack uses his hands to cut down trees. Oh, you know what? That makes more sense. <laughs> But now the question is, can he come down this tree? The tree known as Jake Flo. Oh. Oh, looks like he's just trying to break him. Oh, God. I thought he was going to hit him on the steps. Oh, God. He just tossed him, dude. Oh, look at this. Lumberjack. Realizing. He needs money to continue his... Oh, business of tearing down everyone. Oh, Samoan drop. Oh, I believe he calls that timber, if I remember correctly. One! No! Only gets a one count. Boy, well, they know with both men, we don't know their actual moves, finishing moves, or anything like that. So I'm assuming that was the timber. I do not know. I haven't tested them out yet. Oh. Uh oh! Oh! Beautiful move there. God, this is just brutal. It really is. Well, honestly, you gotta get props to Flo, though. He's actually holding himself pretty well. Timber's... Or, correction, Lumberjack is... Oh! Doing as much as he could. No. 
Look at this. Flo getting him up and... Oh! Blitz! <laughs> Honestly, I believe that's Carlo Mendes' nightfall. Oh! Oh, look at this. Flo trying to make the giant tap out here tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. I'll say when Timber comes. Okay. Take a word on it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The Lumberjack now just making a rally. Oh, big spy buster there. Is that enough to put the flow down? No. Yeah, oh, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> One, two, no. Was that Timber? That was like a fucking what the fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jack and Shane maybe, bro. Oh, got you. Okay, that, that might make some sense now. Like Flo. Oh, what's. Oh, Flo's just going in with submission hold. Oh, no. Okay, was that a submission hold? It looked like a submission hold. Oh, big suplex right there from Jack. That Flo going it. Nope, not yet. That wasn't it. God damn. <laughs> He's very athletic. <laughs> and look at this. Oh, what's going for an outside dive? But I guess the Lumberjack just is, does not want to feel the flow here tonight. Backflow doing a great job keeping the Lumberjack down. Oh. Working on the arm. Possibly to stop him from using a lot of lifting up type moves. But then again, if he's going to really want to do major damage to his arsenal, he's going to have to target the legs. Which so far he has not done so at the moment. Oh, goes for a big elbow dive. Quickly misses. And right now, I think the Lumberjack was trying to do something there. Oh, big gut shot. Lumberjack got him up. Oh, just throws him over. Lumberjack throwing him to the corner. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Oh, I'm a little game. That had to be Timber. Was that Timber? Holy shit. One, two, no! Jack Flo is still in it. Holy shit! That was hit first. Jack still going. Jack hitting him with a drop kick. Not Timber. That still wasn't Timber. What the fuck? <laughs> that looked like it hurt, man. Oh shit! There, he, again, Jack is working on the arm of the lumberjack, but he really needs to start targeting on the legs if he wants to keep. Him from like lifting his ass up. Right now, oh, again, again, Jack is just working on the arms. I don't know what exactly he's going for. Don't get me wrong, this does probably take away the striking power of the lumberjack, but that's not the main issue here. The main issue is if the lumberjack can get him up over his shoulders. That oh, big clothesline getting Jack outside of the ring. Man's a monster. I told you. I could tell. Shit. <laughs> Lumberjack Jack throwing Jack. It's hard. It's hard to do this because they're both named Jack. Uh oh. There it is. Oh shit! One, two, and with that, the lumberjack gets the victory. Oh no, Jack, no, what timber is it? He doesn't want that. The lumberjack gains his first victory here in PXT. That's Timber. Holy shit. <laughs> he just set him off and just dropped him. Holy crap. Had to hit this button like 20,000 times. Just to show again. Uh, it's hard to show because of this thing, but pretty much I have a dice app. I just go up to 20. Whatever the last number is on 20, that's the division they're in. One is the U uh, PXC title, correction. Two is the YouTube title. Go so see where the Lumberjack fall. And the Lumberjack is in. Oh, he's not going to be fighting the White Viper in Russia, but he's probably going to take out fucking Mugrip. The Lumberjack is in the PXT Town Division, which means 
Tech Flow is actually in the YouTube title division. By the end of this. <laughs> but yeah. But either way, congratulations to the Lumberjack for taking on Jack Flow. And uh, honestly, even Jack. Jack was... God, he was trying his absolute hardest. And the kid has pretty much been... Uh, very pissed off as of late. Mainly because... Not only did he technically get a little bit cheated out of not being in the PXT title division, or the title picture shot, correction, um, but also that even last week's win against Bugrip, no one's really taking him serious, because everyone's saying, well, you had help, well, you had help, well, you had help, all that stuff. The kid has been, like, a bit great because people are not taking him seriously. So, who does he decide to take on tonight, and who does he decide to challenge? Someone that he thought would be an easy pick due to last week's scenario that happened. Though the kid has issued a challenge to none other than G7. Go on other tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It is G7 versus the kid here in PXT. Now, this is going to be a fucking match. <laughs> Big and Shane. See, I would, I would I think I'd be a cool match. Actually, you guys are in the same title division, so <laughs> it can happen. B7, the slayer of PXT. This man has claimed, has claimed a giant. He has claimed a legend. G7 has done it all. He's taken out each and every person. One of workshop is Cyber Sundays. Yes. <laughs> fuck, I just realized we do do this Sunday. Fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck, I didn't think about that. Holy shit. To be able to claim the upcast. Maybe it's not. Wait, did I put G7 against... Oh, have I? I don't remember. I don't think so. Have they fought? This is a match I do not remember. <laughs> Either way. And I, he's looking to just uh, defend his, I guess, actual honor. Because right now, I guess the kid just wants to make everybody realize that he means serious business here at BXT. And honestly, the kid has not had a good record so far. Not with losses and matches, but honestly with just not getting his... Oh, hope he had two matches. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Technically three. Yeah, technically three. Because uh, the re uh, the bubble match last week. So Shane's been in three matches, actually. I know the kids coming in here. One is Electro and the other is Boom. But remember, the Triple Threat match, that was also a match as well. Now we're talking about one-on-ones, then yeah. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, technically, yeah. He has, uh, he's had two one-on-one -on -one matches. Ah, right, here it is. The kid against G7. Oh! I think G7 still may, may still be battled a bit from last week's episode of PXC to where Super actually got his vengeance back and took down the former Giant Slayer, I guess, in this case, because he G7 was not able to do it again. And who knows? Maybe has damaged the ego of G7 or has damaged the confidence in him. Because right now, even right now, G7 isn't really going how we used to see him at the first starting weeks of PXT. Right now he's getting caught in a lot of moves. Oh! Big body slam there. Look at that, the kid rolling out. I think that's another thing. Both men right now need to, like, get the momentum back. I think that's what's really happening at this point, that this needs to happen. The kid kind of works like boom. Once he starts going, no one can stop him. That is actually true as well. Then again, even with that said, the kid hasn't done some crazy, like, how do I word it, like, 
comebacks to where even there was times where I thought he was losing out of nowhere he's won oh big shot there like hell even last week uh honestly I thought Bugrip was actually gonna pick up a win but surprisingly the kid was able to pick it up but then again the reason for this whole match is because the kid challenged G7 just so then people could start taking him seriously because though he beat Bugrip last week nobody took it seriously because he had help from Rodrigo so I can see why the kid is frustrated, but then not just that, even G7. G7 didn't have a good week last week either, because he lost against the Giants. So in other words, now people are saying that he's not really the Giant Slayer, because it was just a one-time fluke. So that's where I think both men really need to pick up the win here. There was a lot of shocking matches last week. That is actually true. There was a lot of shocking matches last week. And now G7, like I said, this, this match right now for both men is very important. They both need to pick up the victory here. Because, just to get momentum back. Because right now, they were at the top of their game last month. This month, they have been dropping. The kid, oh, big clothesline from G7 to the kid. The kid, oh, look at it, still a win over the Slayer. No! So in this case, I believe if G7 wins, what would he be called? The Outlaw Slayer? Oh! Big shot there. And what's he going for? Big body slam! Looks like G7's looking to rally, but the kid reversing. Probably going to be a lot this week. That's true. Possibly. Look at this. And oh! Goes him over the top rope. Right now, the kid really... Trying to do some damage possibly to the legs of G7, which is not a bad idea actually, because that takes away the King Slayer. Oh! Here it is! Double barrel! Here's the double barrel! One! Two! No! Hey, we probably should call it like double shot. Oh! Oh god, that was like on the head. Log out, Law Slayer, because the Kid Slayer doesn't sound... <laughs> Fair point. Yeah, the kid, yeah, the kid Slayer does not sound good. <laughs> I'm glad Bray is gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me a sec here. Gotta do something. Alright. Went ahead and had to do that. Because uh, that's uh yeah that, that's 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 not gonna happen here. That's messed up, man. That was messed up. That's it. That's in the video, but that that's that's messed up, man. That's terrible. Sorry, right, talking to uh. Okay, well, I'm gonna point him out. The hacker of tomorrow. That is messed up. That is wrong timing in general. And that is hella disrespectful. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. I'm being serious. You should really be ashamed of yourself. It's all trying to have fun. Then we have the one person that just comes in and ruins it. I do apologize for that, people watching this. Even on the edited version, I apologize for this disrespect. Terrible. Oh yeah, it's no problem, Shane. Honestly, glad that that's all I do this for. I just do this just in general for people to have a good time, enjoy, and come on in. That's why I had to pretty much 
stop the whole thing that this guy was saying because that, that was just too much. And it's sad too because that just took away the whole like energy of me like getting into this match. Ah, man. Thank you, guy, for ruining the day. Thank you, thank you. Here it is. Ooh. So now getting back into the match. The kid so far has just been taking full on control. Oh, was going for the comic splash, but missed. Could this be the Slayer's chance? Come up. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. His head was close to the mat there. <laughs> it looked like he was ready to like kill him, man. Yeah, no, D7 is kind of getting thrown around. The kid. The kid might be making a statement here. The kid might be actually making a statement here tonight. It's about man. Oh, was trying to drop the knee, but missed. And oh, <laughs> that was a, okay. That was a cool looking move. So it looked like he got the head, and then boom. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> a Slayer, I think, catching his breath. I think G7's. I think the kid has really been taking the wins out of G7. Oh, look at this. I think he's going for King Slayer. Here it is. Can he hit it? King Slayer right there. Is that enough to put the kid down? One. Two. No, the kid is still going. And honestly, I need to watch what I say when I say that. <laughs> oh, look at this. The kid trying to get him. Quick win. No. G7 quickly rolls out. Oh, it's a big boot. Oh, G7 quickly getting up. Both men fired up. Both men looking to get some momentum again in their career. G7 looking to get fired. Correction. The kid looking to get fired up. The kid looking to make a comeback here. It is hard in this match to show everyone he's not washed. That's true. Here it is. Comet Splash. Is it enough to put G7 down? One. Two. No. G7 is still going. Both these men have. Both these men are just. <laughs> Look at this thing. G7 is in danger. Oh. Big uppercut into the corner. The kid. I think the kid's trying to make a statement here tonight. Back in the leg of G7. Oh, look at this. Oh, jumping neck breaker. But the kid kicks up. It did nothing. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I think G7's going for another King Slayer. Isn't enough to put the kid away? One, two. And with that, G7 is now the Outlaw Slayer. Holy shit. When I mean washed, I mean Aaron Rodgers and the Packers washed. Oh shit! <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I, I think he's washed now. Oh no! <laughs> Holy shit! That is insane! Wow! Congratulations, G7. Honestly, G7, G7 really needed the win though, because he he has been like on a decline as well, and now I believe he got some momentum back. He traded in the Giant Slayer for the Outlaw Slayer. So congratulations to G7. Holy crap! Uh, we're gonna go on to our next match of the night. Now we, these two have been uh, these two have been going. Sort of heated since Bio War. <laughs> That's right, uh, Gen X and Mox, pretty much. Mox pretty much gave Gen X another loss because Gen X was about to celebrate his victory at Bio War. Mox gave him another loss, and then out of nowhere, Gen X was able to pick up a victory against Mox. And because of that, uh, there's a whole rivalry now because even Mox, when he wanted to get another, like a third time to even it out, yes, this is still going on, sadly. <laughs> um, Gen X refused to fight him, then the last week happened, Mox was able to pick up a win, but uh, again, Gen X, Gen X just can't let stuff go. <laughs> Gen X just does not want to let it go, so he demanded a match here tonight against Mox. So again tonight, it is going to be Mox versus Gen X.
Now, the thing is that we gotta ask here is that if you look back on it, technically, technically, Mox has already won this whole like rivalry if you think about it. He already has two victories over him. So what is the point of Mox fighting Genix? That's the thing I think even uh, we're trying to figure out here right now in chat and me. I think the real thing is I think Mox just doesn't like Genix in general. <laughs> because I think at the beginning of this week, I think Mox just didn't like the assault that happened. And because of that, and because of how like short-tempered Mox can be, I think he's just taking it into a lot longer territory. To where Genix is using it as like what UFC does. They pretty much just keep going back and forth, fueling up the match, and the next thing you know, big extravaganza. And I think that's technically what Genix is doing. That or he's just playing fucking mind games against Mox. Which in this case, looks like it's working because we're seeing the match again. Mox looking to looking to probably finally shut up Gen X maybe? I don't know. Gen X coming to the ring. Gen X is uh, again a former UFC fighter, but honestly, so far he's he is melding well here in PXT into the wrestling scene. He is. Because not only is he playing mind games, he's doing he's doing so much other stuff that literally would probably take years for people to learn. Heck, even like The Miz, it took him a while to get into this type of stuff as well. Foxy to genuinely see this is what sucks is my chat sometimes is an update on this side, so I can't even it says, yeah. They're all loose and out. Living hell shit on Gen X. I, have a, I agree on that. Oh. I do agree that he needs to let loose, so I had to read it on the OBS, which the OBS isn't that big, so I can't, it's very hard to read on OBS. Actually, you know what? Hold on, let me see if I can do it. Like, Aha! Yeah, Mox needs to generally let it all loose. Is it up there here now? Here it is. He has an MMA background, but he still fights like a skinny boy. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, 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 hey. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong, he does, actually. But right now, it looks like Mox is just Mox is just fucking destroying him at this point. Holy shit! Mox, I think, is just in general wanting just to kick the living shit out of Gen X. I think this is just what Mox is realizing he's living for, just to beat the living shit out of douchebags. <laughs> and I look at this. Quickly rolling out, Gen X taking a moment. Mox going to the top, not allowing it. Oh, drops him down with. That elbow, that's what I'm saying. I know, God. I think, honestly, I think that's why Mox is continuing this. It's just because he just wants to beat the living shit out of Genix. He's the only thing I can think of. Because we've already pointed it out. He's already won this whole, like, back and forth they were having. So what's going to happen here tonight? Like, what, what, what does tonight's match even mean? Does it just add fuel to the flame that's already happening? Oh! Okay, that was a good move from... Okay, you gotta give him props there. That was a good move from Gen X. Holy shit, I didn't expect that from him. Look at this, Gen X. Now, looking to make a little bit of a comeback. Gets Mox up. Oh, gets him in a submission. Okay. Make Mox tap out, but Mox not having it. Quickly gets out. Mox throwing Gen X to the ropes. Goes under. Oh! <laughs> God, hits him while running. Flipping Gen X over, but Gen X quickly getting Mox into a leg drag. Oh, Ooh, I just want to point out, he deadlifted the man. <laughs> God damn. Oh, look at this. Gen X, are you looking to rally here tonight? Okay. Gen X is already looking to make a little bit of a rally here. Oh, big shot. And Gen X is up. Gen X is up and immediately thinks that's enough to go for the win here tonight. No. Mox kicks out. this oh big shot there look at this now both men going back and forth punching each other left and right and mox wins the exchange genix rolls out oh i think jet is genix trying to leave i think i think genix is trying to leave the match 
Oh, come on, really? Oh, look at this. Mox not having it. Mox is not having it. He's getting Jennings back into the ring right here, right now. He's not having it here tonight. Mox needs to rally before Jennings starts cooking. I think, I think Jennings has probably already given up in the match, but Mox is on. Oh, I think Mox is going for Asylum, but oh, dodges the big boot. Oh, what this? Oh, what was that? One, two. That, that is a move we have not seen in Mox's arsenal. Holy shit, that was cool though. <laughs> and the crowd saying fight for everybody, or fight forever, correction. Just did it right there. Yeah. Mox, I think that is what it is then. Mox just wants to just beat the living shit out of Gen X. And honestly, I think everybody in the crowd is A-OK -okay with it. Look at this. Gen X is now publicly humiliating Mox. Just big shots to the chest and a big punch to finish it off to the head of Mox. Oh, look at this. Gen X got him up and again trying. I think he wants to embarrass Mox by making Mox tap out here tonight. But no, as far as I know, even with his UFC uh, record in general, Gen X has not had a lot of submission victories. He had knockouts, not a lot of submissions. Okay, he goes over. Now going under. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful shot. There it is. Oh, quickly kicks out. Also, you gotta admit, that whole like twisting him on the knee, that was a beautiful maneuver right there. Oh, look at this. Oh, Irish backbreaker. Another Irish backbreaker. Oh, it's three of them on the back of Mox, and Mox has to roll out. Oh, look at this. Oh, Mox looking to just get back at it. Oh, there it is. Big punches there. Big punches. Mox looking to probably rally now. Now Mox looking to rally. But, oh, Gen X quickly stopping it and hits him with a big clothesline. Oh. Big leg drag there. Right now, Mox is just purely taking control of the match. Mox, is, Mox has done a great job keeping control and mainly just kicking the living shit out of Gen X. And honestly, I think that's just what he's living for at this point. Look at that. Oh, I, I believe Mox is talking trash out to Gen X. <laughs> Look at that. He's basic. He wants him to come back in the ring. He wants him to get his ass back in the ring. Oh, and now Mox playing mind games with Gen X here. Oh, but Gen X hitting a big shot. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think he got caught. Oh, Mox gets caught in next gen. Here it is. Is that out to put the psychopath away? No! Mox is still going. Oh, he's going for a power bump, but Mox quickly reversing it. Mox is now ready to go. Oh, look at this. Mox going for an asylum. Here's the asylum. Is that enough? One, two, no. I think Mox also wants the disrespectful way of winning, which is embarrassing him and then sub submitting him. I think so as well. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I would, uh, that's the fastest Northern Light suplex I've seen. Holy shit, that looked like it fucking missed a frame. Oh, Mox on the top rope, looking to set up Gen X with a big. Ooh, da, 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 they hit. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what hit. I don't know if it was the elbow or the bottom of his foot that hit the te temple. Oh. Temple, top of the head, top of the head of Gen X. Big elbow drop there. Another big elbow drop. Oh, my God, just seeing where the barrage of elbow drops Gen X is. Gen X getting Mox up. Oh, big body slam. Or power slam, correction. Those box back in the center of the ring. I think Gen X was using mind games there, wanting to quickly get out of the ring to play some mind games to probably get Mox fired up. Oh, and so far, it looks like he's probably taking advantage now because now Gen X is staying in the ring. He's not trying to leave anymore. The question is, can Gen X put away the psychopath? Oh, 
My god, I swear to god, the back of Mox has to be completely messed up at this point. He has gotten hit with Irish backbreakers like crazy. I think it was already like the fourth one, fifth one, I'm not sure. Oh, look at this. Oh, quick maneuver right there from Gen X. It looks like Gen, Gen X looking to put away Mo Nope. Looking to get him with next gen, but no. Mox quickly getting out of the control of Gen X. And Gen X looking to keep the offense on. Not wanting him to rally. It hits him with a big boot. That was a big boot from Gen X. Is it enough to put Mox down? There it is. Next gen! Is that enough to put the psychopath down? One, two, three. And with that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I just realized because of that whole crap that happened, I never updated G7s and uh, the kids' stuff. I never updated their stuff. But with that, Gen X picks up another victory, evening out their actual win loss record. So now. Now, actually, believe it or not, they, they are going to have to fight that fucking hellfire. But yeah, damn, congratulations to Gen X for taking down Mox. Mox, uh, honestly, I think Mox just let his emotions get the better of him in general. I think that's how pretty much he lost that. This is the only thing I can think of that would probably, like, cost him that. Because he, he had the full match in him, but when Gen X played the mind games and getting the hell out of there, no, uh, Mox couldn't do anything after that. He just let his emotions take full on control. But now, uh, we are going, we are now, uh, <laughs> reliving another match that's happening. With what was said, pretty much the rivalry is continuing, and because of last week's escapade, we said, screw it, if y'all guys are gonna try doing this whole, like, killing each other type crap, hell no. Y'all are gonna be fighting in the middle of the fucking ring. So, tonight, again, the big rivalry, Rodrigo going against the PXT champion, Bugrip. Grip to just beat the living shit out of each other. But I want to point out, they are still not taking into account that Bone is in their match. These two are so dead set hatred for each other that they are just focusing on each other instead of Bone. Bone can outright just steal the fucking win. And the next thing you know, no PXT champion. So I was at least well, Rodrigo, or I was Bugrip. I would say screw the other man, focus everybody. You need to focus up on that match because these two, so far, have not paid any attention to Bone. No type of offense to Bone, no type of anything to Bone. But even with that said, Bone now technically is also going in with no momentum because he wasn't able to pick up a win last week. He wasn't able to pick up a win this week. This match tonight could actually be the biggest match for either Rodrigo or Bugrip going into that triple threat match because the winner will be going in with some momentum. So, it's hard to say what could actually happen here, but... Right now, it looks like even with Bone... Because here's the thing, Bone didn't even have momentum for that triple threat match the couple weeks back that we had. But he was still able to pick it up and he is still in that main event. So, with that said, what's to stop the fact that he could just go in and steal the title again, you know? Like, what, what could stop him? He ain't going in momentum with that when he picked up the win and he is now in the main event. But, Ben got hit and he's getting... And I hate this little emoji. I have like a little emoji thing here and I hate it. Bone got hit and he's getting hit with the sad from Bone. Honestly, not wrong. But, again, I want to point out, he did go into that triple threat match with very little momentum as well. And because of that, he did still pick up the win. So, in other words, it's still a chance he could do that. And that's what I'm saying. While Drigo and Bugrip need to settle this tonight, so they can focus on the big picture, which is that big match. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. The PXT Champion. See, that's what I'm saying. He stole the win off that triple threat match. What's to say he doesn't steal the PXT championship because of that? That's that's like the crazy thing because not only was not, not just anybody also God, it's hard to describe this. Pretty much everybody that was in that triple threat match, then we didn't have a lot of momentum, but they were still able, one of them was still able to pick up a win. This case for both these men because they have been so so focused on each other. 
they might let that happen at Hellfire to where Bone just plain up steals the victory. The next thing you know, new PXT champion. And what stopped them from continuing the like continuing their title reign by any chance, or in this case, Bugrip Grip from continuing his title reign? His feud, his hatred for Rodrigo. Right now, honestly, I'm so glad this rivalry happened because it happened so long ago too, on like our first ever episode of PXT. Not like this purple version. We had a red version of PXT because that's what we were gonna originally do. But um It's it's just poetic justice what's happened between both Bugrip and Rodrigo. Like their rivalry has held the test of time, and even tonight, it continues. Here it is. PXT champion going against former PXT champion. Now, want to point out the PXT after BioWar, Rodrigo was actually able to pick up the win against Bugrip. Now, the question is, was that a fluke? Because he did it. He was able to get a few shots in before anything. And look at this. Oh, look at this. Are you going for a submission hold against the Blue Menace? Rodrigo quickly getting out of it. Getting. Oh. That man. Both, both these men have already, like, been through each other's arsenals. They're going to know what the other man's going to go for. Oh, look at this. Oh. It's technically here right now. You never really, but goddamn. Right now. Right now, Rodrigo was taking control, but it looked like Bugrip was able to just come back at it to throw him back in the ring. And oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! Trying to steal the win for the PXC champion himself! Now, another thing I do want to point out is that Bugrip, honestly, has not had a good, like, title reign in general so far. Oh, big boot! Because if we can look at the record book real quick, if you look at the record book, Bugrip actually has been losing a lot more of his matches ever since he won the title. On this, on this, not the week, not the episode after Biowar, but the week after that episode, he lost against Rodrigo. Then he lost against the kid. He needs this victory. He really needs this victory. They know each other, but they can still throw out surprises on one another. That is true. That is true. They could still, they're probably hidden some. And the next thing you know, boom! That could skyrocket them back into it as well. Look at this. You grip getting the blue menace up. What's he gonna go for? Oh, snake eyes into the corner. You know what? You are right on that because the one thing that we've never seen you grip actually use a lot, that's. That punt kick he pulled out at BioWar. He pulled out a punt kick. Uh oh. Rodrigo's gonna really need to do something here. Because he's gonna about to be hit with Unforgivable! There's an E-brace. Uh Ages of Wrestling. <laughs> here it is. One, two, no, was not able to put down the blue menace. Now the knee brace on. New Whip mainly was because his time in the Indies before PXT even continued. He was having a lot of knee problems. Uh, I guess knee problems just started happening. Mainly because one time he tried doing a sort of like what happened to Seth Rollins. He tried doing that type of power bomb, But his knee didn't fully like mess up like that. But he did have terrible uh, ACLs. In other words. So now he does wrestle with a knee brace. But as far as what we've seen... He should be fine. As far as we've seen. And the only reason now we don't see him ever do like a buckle bomb or anything. He just goes for the unforgivable. Which that was a move he was using a long time ago. Even when we first tried doing PXT. Because that's when he didn't have any type of knee braces. Anything. But honestly age. It catches up. I think the only person that never got like any type of problem was actually Rodrigo. Rodrigo plays it. Surprisingly, he plays it very safe. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, just strangling the blue menace in general. Look at this. Oh, is he trying? Oh, look at this. He's going for what everybody knows as the Walls of Jericho. 
Is the Blue Menace going to tap out here tonight? It would be a sight to see if Rodrigo taps out, but Rodrigo getting out of the submission hold. Oh, look at that. Oh! Nigum is trying to quickly get him back into the hold, possibly, but Rodrigo was just not going to have it. Rodrigo sending Bugrip to the ropes, going under. Then hits him with a big elbow to drop the champ down. Oh, look at this. Oh, hits the discus. Lean Bone, Jake and Shane will have problems with their arms and legs with the shit they fall pull. Honestly, maybe. Oh, here it is. For the win. One, two, oh. That could have been a huge victory right there for the Blue Menace, honestly. Mainly because, like I said, he's dope. Oh. And the crowd asking them to fight forever right now. He's hitting the chaos. He hits the Trinity Chaos. Or chaos Trinity. Sorry about that. He's going to get mad at me. Oh, there he is. Going for the best press right now. Bukem trying to go in with a full onslaught. Going for the pin, thinking that may be enough. I, I don't know about that. Right now, both men, I believe, are getting a little bit. I, I don't know, actually. You know what? I think. Oh! Lift up Bew Grip right there. Is that enough to put down the Blue Menace? Oh, look at that. Quickly getting out. And look at this. Rodrigo going for his brothers. Patent it. Lava Lunch. Here it is. Oh! One, two, no. Right now, the PXC champion is still going. Oh, oh, Rodrigo. We don't see Rodrigo pull this out of his arsenal. He used this a long time ago in the first year. So PXC hits the spear. One, two, no. Bugrip kicks out of the spear. I want to point out that that spear ended another wrestler's career. We asked him if he wanted to come back, but he said after that first time in PXT, his career ended. Last time Rodrigo hit his spear, he hit it to where one person's back of the neck hit the bottom rope, and he had to go to ER. Oh, here it is. Oh, boom, big Uranagi. What are they pull out surprise? Yeah, I know they're pulling everything out of their arsenals now. But not even that, but even like Bugrip, he kicked out of it. I'm amazed. But you know what's funny? He did that also at Biowar. When Rodrigo was hit that spear, it did nothing to, <laughs> to Bugrip. I think Bugrip was just calling shades of the Biowar they had. Because right when that spear hit, and no, that was after the full onslaught, Bugrip refused to give him one more point, and then it went to a full-on onslaught on the outside. My god. Right now, I think Rodrigo's is looking to wear down the torso of Bugrip, which honestly, it probably did now because of that spear. Let's go back. Right oh, big clothesline to the back of the head. Going him back into the ring right now. Bugrip taking control of the match. Oh, look at this. Strike over a big clothesline. But Bugrip catching him from behind. Oh, big uppercut to the back of the head of Rodrigo. A big gut shot there. Another big gut shot there. And right now, looks like... Oh, hits a powerbomb from the corner. One, two, no. <laughs> Former PXD champion kicks out... Oh my god, it lo that looks desperation. It looks like that Rodrigo might be almost done for this match, not gonna lie. Right now, oh look at this! What's going for the Bugrip? But quickly, Rodrigo dodges and hits! The <laughs> it's the discus! Is that enough to put down the PXD champion? It is! One! Two! And with that, Rodrigo gains the victory over the PXT champion. Oh, look at this. Hey, oh, Rodrigo's not done. Rodrigo's not done with the PXT champion at all. Oh, my God. 
As I said, this rivalry has gone so intense to where these two don't even want it to end after the bell. Who replaced our purple steel steps? Who did it? <laughs> with that, Rodrigo is now coming in with all the momentum at this point. Not only has he picked up a win in general, he picked up two wins technically over the champion. This one was clean from start to finish until the ending part. But either way, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we... Oh, God fucking damn it. What's this? I guess we're not going to see this match till fucking Bio War. God damn it! Correction, Hellfire. God damn it. So, originally, the match that was finally going to happen tonight was see Jill against Super. No! <laughs> Apparently, Super is now doing what see Jill did. So tonight, to main event tonight, <laughs> tonight's match, it is see Jill against Ace. God I am so... So... This. Oh, okay. Looks like... Ujil was ready to face. What the... What the... What the... Okay. He gained powers from the Yakuza. <laughs> oh, wait, I mean, not them. Oh, my God. Okay, well. D. Jill already getting a two. So he's like him winning the cheat. Oh, yeah, that was the other one. Yeah, honestly, still, though. Oh! D. Jill, I think, finally working out his frustrations a little bit here. I don't think he likes the idea that not only is he facing Super, but that he's facing somebody that technically just stole a victory. At the quarantine match at Bioware. Oh, big shot there. My god, dude. Honestly, C. Jill is... C. Jill is also technically somewhat of a monster when it comes to being like a striking force. Because god damn. He pulls out moves that you would not see a man of his size do. Big elbow shot. Yeah, I'm going to head off the night. Good night. I can't wait for future streaks. I can't. Yeah. Oh, streams. I can't this match so I can be prepared. The hellfire. Good night. Ah, oh, no problem, man. Yeah, we went on a little bit longer tonight, but yeah, have a good night. Take care. Right now, C. Jill and Ace going on. Either way, this match is, will still be live, so you can see the match later tonight or later whenever you can. C. Jill is hitting the Northern Light Suplex on Ace now. C. Jill's purely just taking control of the match. Oh, big. going in with big shots to the face right now. C. Jill is just—I think C. Jill's just pissed off. Honestly, at this point, I think he's just pissed off at this point. I also want to point out, so far this is our longest, longest PXT episode so far. This is why we don't have time limits. Well, also it's because we had some uh, other short stuff that would happen in, the, in between, but this will be our longest episode for PXT. If you guys did make it all the way like Shane did, thank you guys for coming on in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, soon we will have episode 7 and this one up. This one's going to be a little bit later because I got to do a whole download thing now. But right now, oh, oh look at this. Man, the, whole, the whole fight is just happening outside. See, Jill's just, I think not even caring about the match, honestly. I think C. Jill's just absolutely pissed off on what's going on. Which I can understand because I think C. Jill finally said he wants to see what Super is made of. And Super went ahead and just had his own type of thing of like, oh, if I'm going to face someone I faced, you're going to face someone you faced. But there is a difference. Super went against somebody that he lost against. C. Jill hasn't lost against anybody. Oh, here it is. Father's Blessing! Oh, there's a rope break right there. Honestly, that probably could have been the end. Oh, big knee shot and rolling forward as well. Oh, look at this big shots right there. And C. Jill is just taking control of this match. Honestly, at this point, I don't even think Ace is even a challenge for C. Jill. Oh, whoa, 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 he fucking flew. The White Viper of Russia is just wailing on everything. But now there's another question involved. Is Super working with the Syndicate? Because now... Ace is taking on this match.
Look at this. Cooper just working on the arm of Ace. Ace has not done anything for, like... Like, anything in general. I'll be completely upfront and honest with y'all. CG... Oh, there it is. There it is. Now Ace looking to make some offense. Looking to probably make a rally, make a comeback here. Get C. Jill onto the ropes. Oh, Ace going over, going under, rolling under, gets him on, and throws the White Viper down, and drops him with a roller drop kick! And everybody is cheering for Ace! Mainly because the athleticism of Ace is astronomical. And look at this! Oh! Big heel kick from the White Viper, and again, just welling down! Right now, see Jill is just decimating. He is absolutely destroying <laughs> Ace. Oh my god. Look at this. I think see Jill is now going for Father. Here it is. Father sins! That has to be it. The A Ace is done. There's, there's no offense coming in at all from him. He kicks out. I, I gotta give the kid props. He kicks out. This match is purely one-sided. See, Jill is just destroying this kid. Like, there's nothing going on here. But I also want to point out, there is a total power difference when it comes to this. See, Jill is showing pure dominance in this match to where even last week when Super was going as G7, he was struggling. This is not even a struggle for C. Jill because look at him. He's getting straight back up. He's still being tossed back in the ring by Ace, but like I said, he's not even worn down. Ace hasn't done anything for offense. He's only done like practically little type moves, throwing him around. Look at this, CJ again, just getting able to just jump that high. I don't know how the man does it, but hits it with a big hill kick. My God. CJ is, I don't know, man. CJ is a goddamn monster at this point. Personally, I'm not even going to lie. The day he loses the PXT YouTube Championship, he has to go for the YouTube title. He has to. And look at this. He's already looking to put the key, uh, get him into another maneuver again. Oh, but look at, oh, look at this. Look at this. Ace looking to make a little bit of a comeback. Honestly, it might do a lot of work if Ace is able to put down the White Viper. If he can take out the White Viper of Russia, honestly. Ooh, beautiful shot there. And, oh, big clothesline! That wasn't the Memento Mori, but this could be Ace's offense here. Look at this, Ace! Looking to probably make a comeback, but the, the White Viper's still going! Ace, now! Rallying! Now doing... Oh my god, he's still getting up. It's insane! And down. I think Ace realizing it, but look at that quick kick from the Viper. Oh, but look at this Ace not not letting up either. Look at this CJ getting up slower now. I think now the little bit of offense Ace is doing is finally putting in some work. Oh, I think Ace was probably looking to hit the momentum Mori. Ace was able to put down Devil. Can he put down the White Viper here tonight? Could this be Ace's chance? Could this be Ace's chance for the Momentum Boy? Is that enough to put away the... No! I was actually... I actually got concerned there. I thought that was going to be enough to put away the White Viper. The crowd is saying we're not worthy. And look at this. Oh, I think... Ace is going for another Memento. He's going for another Memento! Oh my god. Is this enough to put away the White Viper? One, two, no, see Jill is still going and still not defeated in PXT. Oh, look at this, look at this, see Jill, looking to make, looking to come back, oh, look at this, gets him up. I thought we were going to see the Father's Blessing, but look at this, gets him with the snake eyes into the corner. DJ, oh, 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 look at that. Okay, I don't know what happened there. 
Oh, big shot there. Oh, oh, could this be Ace's chance? Could Ace actually put away the White Viper? Oh! Okay, I thought we were going to see the Memento Moy, but hits him with a springboard dropkick. Is it enough? One, two, no! See, Jill is still going. Oh, my God. Can Ace do the unthinkable? Here it is! It's a 450! Oh, your action 630, but misses the senton. Airpod! CJ gets him with a springboard dropkick. Oh, big shot right there to the back. Now CJ looking. Oh, CJ is getting pissed. Oh, CJ setting up. Ace getting to the corner. CJ going for a big. Oh! Big punch there. Oh, misses. Where is? Oh, oh, Havoc. He hits a Havoc out of nowhere. One, two, three. And CJ remains undefeated here in PXT. CJ with that blank stare. CJ still undefeated here in PXT. Where Ace now picks up another loss. My god, you gotta get props though. You have to get props to this man. CJ, even at the face of almost danger, he still picks up the victory. This is insane, dude. But either way, congratulations to CJ for picking up the win. And now he looks to face off the giant at PXT. Hellfire. But either way, thank you guys for watching tonight. Uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with all guys, friends, you guys enjoyed. If y'all watched, recorded. If you guys watched the live stream, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a great night. Bye.